Again, I want to thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. We are test riding the 2023 Street Bob. Now, you know what? This bike is great. Let's go ahead and kick this kickstand up. Turn her on. Uh, man, this is a good looking bike. This is the Red Line Red. Is this is this 2023? I don't think. Uh, I don't think the. Uh, no, I think this is a 2022. I don't think this is a 2023. If it's a red line red, uh, that's not an option for the 2023 models. But uh, I didn't test ride a red line red last year. So I think I test rode the fast back blue. So this isn't, I don't, you know what? I'm just gonna label it on the video. I don't know if it's a, if red line red is a, the color option all right i can't remember off the top of my head but you know what i'm a fan of this bike all right uh even though it's got the smaller fuel tank the 3.5 you know i i don't like the 3.5 gallon tank on a milwaukee 8 i think uh, i mean if you're moving on up to a big v-twin you should have the minimum of you know dyna days 4.7 uh you know as far as uh, you know big v twin you should really have a five gallon tank and i like what they did with the breakout they they uh they added the five gallon tank i gotta focus here there's a stop here uh so the breakout used to have this fuel tank and then they have the f the, they have the lowrider s tank now on the breakout i think this one really needs that upgrade a lot of the the facebook group members a lot of folks that have a street bob they end up you know they end up swapping out the fuel tank for a five gallon so it's just one of those things hey if harley's listening which you know they do uh maybe it's time to to give the street bob an upgrade give it a give it a five gallon tank but of course like i mentioned you don't you know you don't have any wind protection on the bike so as far as my own experience of course riding long range uh on my sportster the 3.5 gallon tank is you know it is something that you look forward to because of course you have to stop every 100 miles or so 120 miles if you really want to push it but by the time your indicator turns on uh you're looking at about maybe 90 miles about about yeah that sounds about right about 90 miles and by then if you're riding with this you know with the street bob no wind protection then you welcome a stop <laughs> let me tell you uh high winds highway freeway on the on the sportster uh, without wind protection uh, Yeah, when, when I when I have to pull over for fuel I pull over and I take like a 20 minute break Because uh, man, it's just you know, I'm 37 37 now and uh, Yeah, the yeah, my, my body takes a beating so Anyways, if this is a 2023 they haven't really done anything to it. All right. It's still the same bike It's still the same from 2020. That's when they did the uh, that's when they they, they upped the displacement on the street bumps uh, from the 107 to a 114, which is really nice. Uh, this is this is just one of the things that I that I've mentioned, in you know in those videos, that uh, that the 114 upgrade, it was only about like a, I believe it was a $400, $400 increase, which was nice. I mean, if you were in the market for a street bob back in 2020, I think what you got for it I, as far as you know what you got for it as you know the the extra 600 bucks or the extra 400 dollars i can't really remember i believe it was worth the money all right you got of course everything that makes the street bob great plus you got you know 10 10 more foot pounds of torque and the 114 all right and that was pretty much the only change and the price increase from what i remember was about 400 to to 600 bucks and man the bike uh, the street bob is light. All right, you guys can see how well it handles. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of it. You have a 30 degree rake on these. Most of the soft tails, except for the breakout, the fat bob, and the lowrider S, have 30 degree freak, uh, 30 degree forks or rakes. Sorry, they have 30 degree fork rakes. Damn it, I can't. It's hey guys, it's chilly. It's cold. I don't have any wind protection. I just got off the nightster, and my hands are yeah, they're freezing. I, I uh, yeah, it's cold, so I can't can't really communicate but uh uh anyways the rake the handlebars my my rider position i am relaxed 
I'm a little bit upright mainly because of the mini apes I'm a huge fan of, of the overall feel of this bike I love the mid controls on the Milwaukee 8s I love the handlebars this bike is pretty much I mean it's it's perfect the way it is if you're looking for a bobbed out Harley Davidson minimal wind protection minimal you know everything this this actually has a sissy bar on it I don't know if you guys saw the beginning of the video this has a sissy bar with a passenger foot pad I mean foot foot rest I mean uh, back pad it's got a it's got a it's got a sissy bar with a passenger uh, backrest all right man I I need to ride something with a little bit more wind protection but uh, man this bike is perfect for anybody 5'7 maybe if you're you know 5'2 five, 5'3 five, you will feel a little cramped but my knees are aligned with the fuel tank here so the overall you know feel of the bike is great it's still it's still a great bike uh, and like I mentioned I test rode the 2022s I test rode the uh, the 2020s uh, but I mean it's still it's still a great bike the way everything about it but of course if you're buying this in 2023 you are paying maybe about two thousand dollars more than you would have if you would have you know purchased it in 2020 yeah 2020 now the price increase compared to last year it is significant you i mean last year the these these bikes were still 15 15,400 if i remember right now of course they bumped out the msrp and you know they also bumped up the freight they bumped up the the surcharge so i mean the the street bob by far has gotten the biggest price increase out of the whole lineup from harley davidson and i mean i know what's going on the economy inflation the government's printing trillions of dollars let's go ahead and open her up real quick hold on to my dear life but man you know what she handles well she she handles great uh, as far as of course you know 114 it weighs close to 700 pounds uh, you know the seat height I could flat foot the bike just fine everything's really great uh, it's still it's still a great bike but like I like I mentioned uh, the price increase I mean why would you I mean other than you know having a, a bobber why would you not opt out for the lowrider s you get the uh, i know i this is a demo ride for for the street bot but it's just uh i mean with that recent price increase it doesn't really make sense why would you not just spend the extra 1300 for the lowrider s you get better suspension you get inverted forks dual disc brakes a 117 you also get cruise control uh yeah i, I just i'm, I'm not a huge fan of what Harley did with the price increase on the street bob but um, you know regardless it's still a great bike I'm sure there's still gonna be a market out there for it but at uh, you know what how much is it 16.5 then of course the surcharge went up I mean I believe I made a video on it and it's it's gonna cost you 18,000 over 18,000 for just 
MSRP, and that's with the fees, the you know the the new freight cost, the new surcharge cost, of course, all of that stuff. And then California, you're also paying an additional two hundred dollars. So overall, this is you know this is over eighteen thousand now. So if you got one in 2020, or if you got one in 2021, consider yourself lucky. Anyways, hey, thanks for you know tuning in to yet another video. Thanks for you know watching uh, the videos. Stay tuned for more demo events. I mean, more demo rides. Uh, I've pretty much test ridden everything. Uh, like I mentioned, these bikes haven't really changed from you know <laughs> since 2017, 2018. They're still pretty much the same. All right, they, they haven't done anything with the street bob other than you know the colors and the price increases. So you guys stay out there, stay safe. Stay tuned for more video. Stay tuned for more videos.